In this lesson, we're going to take a look at negative externalities, and we have costs and benefits for the vertical axis and quantity for the horizontal axis. When an individual or firm makes a decision and doesn't have to pay the full cost of the decision, this is called marginal private cost. And marginal private cost represents the supply curve, so it is upward sloping. We also have a demand curve for externalities and specifically for negative externalities we have the marginal private benefits equaling the marginal social benefit. Marginal social benefit is equal to the private marginal benefit plus any external benefits it creates. In other words, marginal social benefit gives the total marginal benefit of the good to society. And this intersection where marginal private benefit is equal to the marginal private cost represents the equilibrium quantity. Now, if a good has a negative externality, then the cost to society is greater than the cost the consumer is paying for it. When a negative externality exists in an unregulated market, such as pollution, producers do not take responsibility for the external costs that exist. And these external costs represent extra costs on society, which are then passed on to society. And we refer to this as the marginal social cost. The intersection where marginal social cost and the marginal social benefits meet represents the socially optimal level for quantity. And as you can see, the socially optimal level for, in this example, pollution is much lower compared to what is currently being produced. Now, as you can see, the marginal social costs are higher. The marginal social costs of pollution are much greater than the private costs a, a firm would be emitting pollution into the air. So, we have what is called a welfare loss on society. Our costs are much greater than our benefits. This entire area costs greater than benefits, costs greater than benefits. This creates a welfare loss on society. So how can this welfare be gained uh, back? And this could be gained back by reducing the quantity produced. So how can this work? What could the government do? The government could pass a tax, and a tax would be one way to reduce the quantity produced. So we would, this would be marginal private cost plus tax. And we find this new intersection, marginal private cost, marginal private benefit. This would be our quantity with the tax. And as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to the socially optimal level. And we'll bring this back up to here. Uh, the social cost is still higher, but our welfare loss, this entire area is much less compared to where it was 
earlier. So one way to correct a negative externality is through a tag.